Welcome to 2 Minutes IB Bio. In this video, we'll discuss therapeutic uses and ethical issues of stem cells. Stem cells are applied for the treatment of various diseases as they have great potential to differentiate into many types of cells. Stargardt's disease and leukemia are examples of diseases that have been treated with stem cells. Stargardt's disease is a genetic disease that develops in age between 6 to 12. This disease causes degeneration of retina, which is a critical structure to create vision, so vision becomes progressively worse. In 2010, a US research team successfully improved the vision of a woman who has a disease by injecting 50,000 stem cells in her eyes. Leukemia is so-called a cancer of blood, it involves the production of an excessive number of abnormal cells in the body, and prohibits the production of normal blood cells. Leukemia is treated with a treatment technique called chemotherapy, which attacks a wide range of cells within the body. Chemotherapy destroys not only abnormal cells, but also healthy cells, so all the stem cells needed are collected before the high-dose chemotherapy. Or, stem cells can be transplanted after chemotherapy from HLA-matched donors. There are mainly three types of stem cells, and each of them have some pros and cons. Embryonic stem cells are extracted from blastocyst, which is a proliferative form of zygote created by fusion of sperm and egg. Adult stem cells are extracted from bone marrow of large bones like femur. Cord blood cells are extracted from umbilical cord of a newborn baby. Because of the great differentiating potential, embryonic stem cell is highly suitable for the treatment of various diseases. However, since embryonic stem cells derives from zygote, which is a potential human life, there are many ethical issues with utilization. Although bone marrow stem cells have less ethical issues, the differentiation potential is not so high compared to the other two types of stem cells. In addition, the extraction method is highly invasive, which accompanies pain, and donor-recipient mismatch is quite common. Similar to embryonic stem cells, Core blood cells have a great potential for differentiation. They're much more capable in terms of long-term storage, but also have some more advantages in their extraction method, as it is less painful than adult stem cells. Also, it doesn't have any ethical issues like bone marrow stem cells. However, since they are very limited quantities from one baby's cord, it is unlikely to treat adult's disease. 